receiving schools, here is a reference for today's lesson. Your strand, substrand, outcome, topic, materials, and your reference. Good morning, HCs, receiving students and teachers. Thank you, you may sit down. All right, um, receiving students and HCs, we've now moved on to our strand, our new strand for this term, term three, which is on, what is it on? Receiving students on culture, all right? So, so far, term one, we looked at environment and resources, term two, organization, and term three, culture. All right, so our strand for this term, or for term three, is on culture. Our substrand is on cultural expression. But for today's lesson, it's sort of like we are introducing the strand, huh? okay? Introducing the strand on culture. So it's sort of like an introductory lesson. And as we continue, we will look at all the points on culture, cultural expression, all right? So receiving teachers, you should have your, your guide, your social science teacher's guide to help you, and also your social science syllabus. All right, I'm sure we looked at culture in um, last term, sorry, not last term, but last year. All right, grade sevens, uh, receiving students. Grade sevens last year, we looked at culture and we defined culture, so there's no need for us to go through again, all right, repeating the same thing. But culture, um, we looked at the various elements of culture. Now, who can tell us what is culture? Now, I'm sure, like I said last year, all right, receiving students, we defined culture, we looked at the different elements or features of culture, all right? Now, what did we say culture was? Okay, can we have someone quickly to just define the word culture? Define the word culture for us. Eight Cs and receiving students. All right? Like I said, we're not going to repeat everything from last year, but we just want to look at the definition of culture. What is That law, one name, culture. Okay, and any answers, eight C's and receiving students? Like I said, culture, we, sometimes we just think that uh, culture is 
just the dances and sing sings. But culture is more to dances and sing sings. Okay, Sulang, please. Pass the mic. Okay. It's the way we live and customary beliefs. Okay, good. Thank you, Sulang. Um, Emmanuel? Culture describes the lifestyle of a particular group of people. Uh, example, they, how they believe, how they act. Okay, thank you, Emmanuel. All right, receiving students. Okay, like what Emmanuel said, all right, culture is the way of life of a group of people. Huh? How they live, okay, how they behave, the type of food that they eat. All right, the type of dressing that they wear. Okay, language. Um, these are the elements of culture, the way of life of a group of people, how they behave, how they act, and so forth. Hey, sis, you understand? Yes. All right, then receiving students. Okay, so way of life of a group of people. All right, the type of dances, the type of language they speak or we speak, the type of food that we eat, the way we cook our food or prepare our food. Those are all elements of culture. Okay. So in, like in our country, Papua New Guinea, we, right, we are so fortunate that we have different cultures. Huh? Yes. All right, we don't have the same culture. All right, we have different cultures. Over 800 languages. And that's one thing good about our culture where we, people or from overseas or tourists, they come into our country to, to identify the type of culture that we have. Okay, and we should be proud of our culture, all right? Eight Cs and receiving students. But like I said, in our next lesson, all right, we are going to go through all these elements of culture. And maybe we'll also have you, maybe at the end of the term, we'll also have you to perform or um, have a cultural display up here from your provinces or your areas okay receiving students so we should be you should get prepared or ready for that so sort of like a a display or a show or something on culture and we have you to come up here and display your your culture all right Okay. All right, so for today's lesson, ATs and receiving students, like I said, we are going to have an open discussion. And we can have, maybe also, we can also put it into a debate form. So we have the desk, all right, in a semicircle. And what we're going to be talking about, okay, we'll have this group here. Okay, we have two groups, huh? Okay, maybe one side, this side, and this side here. Okay, just wait. Um, Bobby and um, Teddy, you can split. All right, Teddy, you on this side, and Bobby, you on that side. Sulang, you on this side, on that side, so on, okay. All right, the two questions. Everyone look up here, please. What is it, what is it that you like about your culture? And like I already explained, culture is not only dressing and sing sings and dances. It's your language, the way you act, the way you behave, the food, the type of food. Okay. And what is it that you don't like about your culture? Right, so what is it you like about your culture and what is it you don't like about your culture? So we'll put it this way. Instead of dividing, we can have open. Huh? Okay, instead of dividing you and saying this one you talk about, what is it you don't like and what is it you like? But it can be open, all right? All of you can say what you like or what you don't like about it. And then maybe you can prepare arguments or anything. Gimana, I hope you are concentrating. 
All right, so receiving students, this is what we are doing now. What is it you don't like about your culture? And what is it you like about your culture? So in an open discussion, please. All right. So that means you are going to be discussing, yeah, okay? You yourselves are going to be discussing this. Okay, any points or any yeah, ideas? Let's say points. Why or what is it you don't like about your culture? What is it you like about your culture? Okay, I'll give you two minutes, eight C's, please. Two minutes to have your discussion and then you can start discussing openly. All right. Is that okay, eight C's? I'll give you two minutes to just discuss, okay, in pairs or in groups and then later you can discuss openly. We can have a discussion openly. And I want everyone to be thinking of something and discussing, okay? So we can, you can talk. And like I said, when you finish, see if someone talks and someone doesn't disagree, um, someone disagrees with his or her point, then you can go against that person or say something. Like the way, or maybe you don't like the language, or you don't like the way you prepare, the way your people prepare the food, or you don't like the way they behave, the way your people behave. Or the way they dance, you don't like the way your people dance. It's sometimes... Or what is it that you like about your culture? You like the type of food that they prepare? Type of dressing, it's good. The way they behave, very peaceful people, hardworking. Those are some things that you should think of.
or bride price, how they, they carry out bride price, ceremonies, or compensation. Yeah, Anderson. Go ahead. What? Anderson, stop laughing. Michael, what's wrong with you? Are you discussing or? Hmm? Anderson, what is it you don't like about your culture? Hmm. What is it that you don't like? about your culture. Is there anything that you don't like in particular about your culture? Or you like? Okay, so what is it you like about your culture? <laughs> Everything. Type of food, the way you prepare the food. Mm. Okay. Okay, I said two minutes and two minutes is up. Okay, so like I said, you discuss openly about what you like, about your culture and what you don't like about your culture. Okay, we'll have anyone who's uh, ready to start. So you have, every one of you should have turns in talking because it's, it's just an open discussion, okay? You're all going to take part. Or if you want to say just one, the likes. Okay. All right, can you pass the mic, please? I don't, I don't like the way men have more po power over the women in the village. Like, you find more chiefs who are women, uh, sorry, men than women. Okay. If you want to support Bronwyn's um, idea, you can talk to, or if not, you have something different. Like I said, this is open discussion. You, whatever that you have in your head, you just throw it out. Uh, receiving students open discussion on what you don't like about your culture and what you like about your culture all right Anna um, what I don't like about my um, cu culture is because um, they do arranged marriages in our villages Thank you. okay so you disagree with arranged marriages okay All right, why is it that you disagree with arranged marriages? They don't, they don't work out? Yeah? Or those marriages don't last?
Okay, listen. Suleng. Because when you go up, you may fall in love with someone else and not the person that they are in for you to get married to. Oh, okay. You want to say something? Mm. Okay, Bronwyn. Um, you boys, you haven't said something yet. I like my culture because they don't uh, yeah, they don't arrange the marriages and if like a bougainvillian marries a person from another province they don't the bougainvillians are not affected like they don't it's like they what they want to do they can do it because not like some other provinces if one from a, if one person from a province marries the other from another province there'd be conflict one person might die or something okay like I said, I haven't heard anything from you boys. You haven't talked. Comments here, you can. Michael. I, I dislike about what Bronwyn said earlier on because in the Bible it is said that women are supposed to have more, uh, men are supposed to have more power than women. I dislike about what Bronwyn said earlier on because in the Bible it is said that women are supposed to have more power uh, men are supposed to have more power than women. Okay. So Michael is saying he goes against um, Bronwyn's idea of disliking the culture that more chiefs are men. Michael is saying that in the Bible it says men must have, oh, what, ladies must submit to their husbands. Okay, that's his point. Okay, we'll have you next. Uh, to add on to what Michael said about burning some um, point, um, it depends on the type of culture that you come from. If it's a patrilineal society, then most likely, like most of the time, they are, she are men who become chiefs, but not women. But if it's a matrilineal society, you have more chiefs than men, uh, women chiefs than men. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ah, uh, sorry, just to clear that, I was talking about not Solomon's only, not other, because I'm not sure about other provinces, but I know that in not Solomon's women are not given them. Okay, we'll have Michael. All right, everyone listen to Michael's point. I don't like PNG culture because they make black magic to kill people. <laughs> Again, please, Michael. I don't like PNG culture because they make black magic to kill people. Okay, black magic to kill people. That's what Michael is saying. He doesn't like PNG culture. Okay, we'll Eunice and then Ron. Michael, are you referring to only the old country, a PNG as a whole, or some provinces in PNG? Because in my province, we don't practice black magic or so Okay, Teddy, we're having Teddy. Uh, I like black magic in PNG because it's something, it helps the look people to in their lives. Uh, it cures, cures sicknesses and also help them to make things go faster. Help them walk far distances to give them the strength. part of culture that way people believe that I mean what they believe in oh. maybe some beliefs that are not they're not helpful or
Okay, Nako was my village, I don't like one of the villages because they said we're not allowed to carry children at the back in night in the night, but like some of the women they have plenty of children. They want to carry them in front and at the back, so then I don't like that. Believe. Oh, okay. Happen when you carry children at the back is like when you are putting the um, kid at the back, the, the this is, um, table or whatever like this will like pull the children, um, the child's um, child, uh -huh. yeah, teen spirit away. Oh, okay. The mother or like the children. Okay, Andrew, can you say that now? Okay, um, pass the mic, please, to Andrew. All right, loud and clear. And you others, please, listen very carefully. Uh, in some, some cultures, uh, in some cultures, women, 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 pregnant women are not allowed to, <laughs> pregnant women are not allowed to eat fish because they fish there. If if they are pregnant and they fish, their child might lose her leg or head. <laughs> okay, so like what Michael is saying. Listen, it is. What Michael is saying, in some cultures, their beliefs are like if a pregnant woman, a pregnant woman is not allowed to eat fish because if she eats fish, then maybe some spirit might spoil the child or something. But what he's saying is fish is healthy, right, for the pregnant mother. Okay, so just that's. Why well, he doesn't like that culture? I mean, that belief, sorry. Some beliefs are not. Okay, any more, please, HCs? Receiving students, I hope you are discussing your points. Emmanuel? Are you two discussing? Then why not say it out? I like Manus culture because, like, it so when they do a dances, it attracts people's attention to come. More people. Okay. You should try and ask, ask is there any other dance apart from that type of dance? Okay, listen. Of course. Do you have any other dances apart from that dance or just yes. that one? Plenty. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that means that most of the people who dance it, they only know one type of dance. They don't know the other types. So that, what you're saying is you have a lot of dances, but the thing is, the people who dance it, they don't know the different types. They just know only one. That's why they keep on doing their one. Because most of the time, the dances are the same. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, okay, okay, say it. Okay, Samuel, here. What are you going to say? 
Oh, you okay? What are they saying? Oh, what are they saying? Normally, Manus people only dance those same type of dance. different ones but like you're not from Manu so you don't know what they are doing. I said you, see, you have a lot of dancers and like most of the time when I see people dancing they like I see that they dance like kind of like a same dance. So I'm asking do you like how do you dance like? Oh no. Us we dance different from who? Anna and them. We dance different from Ara people like like the um, steps, patterns, how they dress and those ones. I mean they dress the same but like the steps are different. The patterns and the dance, the dance is kind of like the same but the steps are different. is not that big so that most of the things are the same. Manus is not a big place. Manus is just a small place. That's why most of the things are the same. Okay. It is... Time up. Okay, Eileen. Okay, we're having the last one now and we'll wrap up everything one thing i don't like about my culture is the bride price because many men believe that because they pay for the bride for pay the bride price they have the right to do anything with the woman Okay, ATs, we'll stop here. ATs and receiving students, thank you very much um, for this, your discussion. And maybe, maybe we can have a debate later on on a certain topic, okay, to do with culture. All right, thank you very much again for your discussions on what you like and what you don't like about culture, your culture. But likewise, many, our culture is so different from each other and that's why Papua New Guinea is a unique country because of our different types of culture. All right, that brings us to the end of our lesson and our keyword, receiving students and teachers, culture. Good morning, ATCs, receiving students and teachers, and thank you for participating. Teachers, here is your reference for the next lesson. Your strand, substrand, outcome, the topic, materials, and your reference.